in life, going through this crazy world. Sometimes we can move mountains if we only have someone who believes in you. How are you doing? It is a concrete yeah, jungle. Greetings to you and everybody who is watching. I am doing amazingly um, great. Yes, if you notice, I'm looking over there. Um, I have a little son that is mashing down the place. So <laughs> how, old <is> your, <laughs> how old is your little guy? He's four years old. Four years old. He's four years old, and you just have one son? No, two. You have two. How old is your other? All right, the other one is twelve years old. He's currently back in Jamaica, spending time um, with his mom. And uh, um, this one now is four years old, and there is another unborn son actually um yes to to be with us soon so <laughs> wow when are, when are you due for your third sometime in september oh my goodness well you'll have to keep us posted when i asked about whether anyone had any upcoming launches i didn't ever even think about that kind of okay. launch okay. But how beautiful is that so Billy, it's amazing wow thank you for bringing that element to this whole project experience and it's such a pleasure to have you here i absolutely love the vibe that you come with you know who you are you stand in that and what i would love is for us to have an opportunity to get to know the man behind the music better so if you'd be willing to give a bio into where you come from in order to stand as the man that you are today we'd appreciate it okay <laughs> yeah first and foremost um, again i will say um you know um love and respect to everybody that is out there. And of course, Billy Boy, the Jamaican cowboy. Um, born in Jamaica and um, migrated um, to United States. Uh, of course, I will tell you about uh, my uh, professional um, experience, of course, academical wise. Um, I've been a teacher for over 12 years, a visual art and social studies teacher back in Jamaica for 12 years. and. I was also a part of the Jamaica Defense Force, which is the military that is back in Jamaica. Um, I started um, serving from the year 2000 um, up until um, 2016 when I migrated um, to be with my family here. As you would have noticed, I am very much a family oriented person. And um, with the support of them, of course, give me the strength to actually, you know, give uh, that energy to the world. Yes, um, and yes, being here in the US, of course, um, music is like my backbone, All right? So that's basically a short nutshell of um, what I do, um, you know, in the past. And hey, one more thing. Um, I also volunteer my service as a auxiliary police um, for the state of New York. Yes, um, you have to be a part of the change if you want to be a change. So it's a volunteer, um, it's like a volunteer cop. Yes, yeah, so I'll go and do my hours. And yeah, so basically that's a part of what I do here, community service wise um, in the um, United States, um, New York to be exact. And of course, the sky's the limit, the music and everything will keep me going to touch other people. So that's basically a little of Billy Boy the Jamaican cowboy in a nutshell. <laughs> Amazing. And I love that you tied into the conversation we were having yesterday on the afternoon summit where Luna Keller actually performed and did a live song on the recording. So you'll have to listen back for that. And it's an opportunity for us all to be able to do that. Um, but we were actually having a conversation about community and common unity and you give back. You're an auxiliary policeman. You have been part of the militia of your country, like the military. You are a man that has moved countries to follow his dream. So you're really walking the hero's journey, so to speak, Billy Boy. Uh, well, hero, <laughs> unless you consider a normal man just doing what is right, um, a hero. Well, that's what a real hero is, really. You know, so, <laughs> yes, I will, I, will, I, will, I will gladly embrace it. <laughs> I, love it. 
I absolutely love that because isn't it our first instinct to deny being that which we inherently are simply because of the associations we've made with the thing that we're saying, I don't know if I'm that, like, I'm not a hero, <laughs> like, I'm just me, you know? So th what we're doing actually is quite heroic in many ways, Billy Boy, because we're contributing to a space that needs love unconditionally yes. in a way yes. that is not readily available culturally yes. which is the cult you rally with and now we're rallying together in a way like we've never done before with 22 mm -hmm. songs from artists around the world and so your song specifically billy boy i want you to speak into what it means to you to have your song on this album as the first of its kind it is indeed a great a pleasure to be able to have uh, my song Change This World on um, this um, amazing healing kind of album, which is different, as I said before, different. Emphasizing on healing the world. Because as you know that um, this world, of course, a lot of, a lot of things have been going on. Yes, a lot of things have been going on from before. But I'm talking about the era of time that, of which I am a part of. You know, um, a lot of, um, uh, you know, like have happened for the past um, months, I would say here then. And um, the world, of course, need healing. And you're not gonna find any alien coming from out of space to heal the world. It is us as a part of it have to be a part of the healing process. First and foremost, it is us that caused some of the damage. So it's there for us have to come together to heal this world. And the world depend on this. And as I said before, Mother Nature is very happy for us coming together with this album, you know, in aid of um, those who need that extra energy boot, spiritual energy boot um, to, you know, carry on. And as I said again, um, I, I feel, I, I really appreciated um, my song being a part of the many great songs to come together for this album. And I'm looking forward to hearing it. Amazing. And so July 22nd is when album 22 officially launches. We've got Change This World on the album. And Billy Boy, if you could speak into the significance of that song and why you chose that song for this album, I think it would give people added insight into you as the artist behind the music as well. Great. Um... First and foremost, I will say that I get a lot of songs in my dreams. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, I got a lot of songs in my dreams. I, I, I will tell you more about that. Um, and this song is one of the songs that I, I, I got in my dream. And the secret about when you get a song in your sleep, like if you have a melody, you find yourself singing a song in the sleep, in a dream. You have to, when you wake up, it's the first thing that you have to do, grab a recorder and record it. If you have to omit, it, you have to omit. it. Write down something so you can remember. Because if not, me personally, I won't remember a thing. Right? So that's what I have to do to actually um, to save um, these songs that I, I get in my dream. And of course, uh, this song, um, you know, I, get, I got it in my dream. And um, uh, in, in, in putting uh, line for line uh, on paper in terms of like the structure of the song, um, this song brought me to a very emotional point. You know, and it is talking about um, how much this world out there can be very unkind. Yeah, it can be a concrete jungle out there. Not everyone that is out there is going to care. But at the same time, there are people who care. So if you just believe in the process, in the healing process, then guess what? Just a smile, just as much as a smile can change a person's day, it can change a person's life. So if we can just give a person just a smile. It doesn't have to be a million dollar. It doesn't have to be anything big, but it's the small things sometimes that we overlook. And it's, it boils down to a nutshell, the simple caring for humanity. And that's what it boils down to, right? So that song, Changes World, you know, it is, it is intended. It is no coincidence. It is, in, it, it is intended to heal even before we come together for this um, album, it is intended to eat. So with this coming aboard now, 
Um, it's just a part of the healing process. Come on, say hi. Come on, say hi. To hi. It's just a part of the healing Hello. process. <laughs> How are you, young man? He's kind of shy. All right, that's easy to do right now. I'll catch you. Yes. So with this, um, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> with this, um, you know, it it comes as a beaker for me to get it to a wider scope of people because I do my songs to heal people. And that is what my music is all about, to, to heal and to make people happy. So that, so change this world, that is what it's intended. You have bad people in this world, but we also have good people, right? And at all times, you will always have good, good will at some point overcome all those bad things. Mm -hmm. And that's my philosophy, and that's what I preach. It's awesome to be connecting with people that get it, that don't just fall down the rabbit hole of vampirism and continue to leak out the power that somebody else was stealing simply because they started it. And it's just, yeah. like, well, are you going to finish it? Are you going to finish yourself in the process? <laughs> and so that really ties into where we kind of are as a collective. And, you know, the tyranny that is abound in terms of, you know, all that's going on socially, governmentally, economically, politically, on all levels, really. And we're living through those changing times where we're being told such polarizing stories that it really is to fulfill the war strategy of divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. and so we understand that's going on and it's so easy to still get caught up in you know the side effects of what's really going on and how people have been deceived and are being damaged because of it or you know dying and like we're in a war that is not being recognized and it mm -hmm. just doesn't have a label but we're in it and it's a psyop and we know all of these things. And yet when we're on our own and we're looking at this huge problem, it's terrifying. But now we're not alone. Like now we have all of us who are part of album 22 coming together. And then we're gonna be creating a mentorship component to the program and creating more projects and giving people an opportunity to connect and share skills and stories. And to be able to take what you've been through to become who you are, to be able to bring that back to people that desperately need it because they're in the metamorphosis between becoming a butterfly and starting as the caterpillar that literally feels like it's going to die right before the RNA's message changes the message it sends the DNA so then it turns it into a butterfly. And then it says, oh, wow, I can breathe again. That's a very amazing way to put it. It's very, a very amazing way to put it. And you're so much correct about it. We are, we are into an atmosphere. Um, you know, it can be, if you're not careful, it can consume us. But with the strength, you know, that unity possess in towards um, a, a, a something that is right. The energy that you will receive from that is out of this world, you know. And I will have to say this, um, for most of the things going on, if there is no support for it, then it wouldn't be going on. So if we can come in support and other people do their own little part and come together to do the things that are right, with that support, of course, goodness can just overflow. Yep. Absolutely. And this is the thing, we really have to be project minded in terms of small scale and then larger scale. So micro, macro, and then cosmic, and really breaking it down to the ripple effect that our impact makes in this universe, the one song that all of us are playing along to, not realizing we are all but characters on the ultimate theater stage. And so when we know that, and now we understand that we've understood we can play at a higher game and we already were, but we were doing it on our own. And now we're saying, okay, it doesn't mean album 22 is everything. Do you know what I mean? Like Billy Boy, 
the Jamaican cowboy still has his own thing going on. And it's an amazing train that you're going to want to get on. So definitely go check out his channel and connect with Billy Boy so that you can stay abreast of what he's saying as you may be resonating with this message in this interview and, and learning more about who performed the song Change This World and pulled at your heartstrings and now maybe doing the same here. So it's just like Billy Boy's got his own thing going on. But now we've also got album 22 where Billy Boy and so many artists we're still needing to tally how many artists actually contributed to this album but when you actually factor in choir participants band members it becomes a really big number that people don't recognize and <laughs> how many people actually participated in the production of your song would you say billy boy say again how many people participated in the production of your song, Change This World? Yeah, you yeah, asked how many people purchased on um, the painting? How many? How many people helped? Like you sang. Uh huh. And then, like, were there other musicians or did you do it all yourself? Okay, great. Um, this song, of course, um, the, the soundtrack it comes from Push It Record. Yes, so I provide the lyrics and the soundtrack come from Push It Record. Push uh, it. So it's a team. It was a team of us um, read this song, but it's actually uh, my song that, you know, in terms of like pushing for. It's just like when you're going to record a song, you yeah. try to get the, you get, get the rhythm track and you may get uh, other people to play different parts, but it's basically your project. Yeah. And yes. So basically, I am the monster mind behind it. Sweet. I shouldn't use monster mind. I should use something else, right? Well, uh, I am the Billy Boy behind. Right? So. You're the Billy Boy. I'm, I'm the man. I love it. That's exactly what you are and who you are. And, and you know it. And so if you could actually get me the number and get it back to me so that we can use that tally for how many members were part of that band that produced that music. I oh, think definitely. it would be a very interesting component to this that we didn't even consider in the beginning, but how cool would it be to be able to let each of those artists actually yes. know yes. what they're part of and invite them to come into the fold too. Amazing. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're expanding to as we move to a higher view because we're further in the project. So it's like we have less of the fear of the unknowns ahead of us. And it's uh -huh. instead on eye level. It's like we're at the cloud level. It's yeah. just like next week we go to launch level and it's like, wow, <laughs> I can see from up here so much further, right? <laughs> Having a Amazing. Child, I can't wait. I, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And you've got a little bundle of joy coming in September. So what does it mean to you to have gotten involved with this project before you bring another life into this world? Um, first and foremost, um, it was goodness at, at sight just to get inside this project, right? And it's another goodness on top of a goodness, uh, having a, you know, a new member of the family um, to be joining. Of course. So this month seemed to be a, I mean, this summer region seemed to be very, very much of a, you know, as I mentioned to you, I have, um, I have an EP that will be um, released um, this Friday. Oh, yes. Okay. Tell us about that, Billy Boy. Yes. Um, this EP um, is done by, um, actually, Billy Boy, the Jamaican cowboy, the, I mean, my EP, um, produced by David Sisko. Very amazing producer. Yes. So actually, um, we're waiting for the release date um, to come uh, this uh, Friday, and we have been doing some some work behind the scene, you know, with the way that we that concern. But of course, I'm sure that the, this release is going to be amazing. And album 22 is going to be like a cloud 10. So, <laughs> so it's just goodness. <laughs> so a wonderful summer, and then. Aside from album 22 launching, your baby coming along, your EP dropping this Friday, 
what is next for Billy Boy in the foreseeable future for you? Do you have a specific aim or intention or project that you're really aiming towards? All right. Um, I am always um, striving um, to, to be a better person, um, to be better in my music, my music to reach more people, and just to be more and more successful, not just myself, but others. You know, I, I wish um, a lot of people right now who are actually, you know, you know having a, 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 a bad time or a hard time will, you know, get around and come back and talk or come and talk, you know. So as you know that you didn't ask, you didn't ask me about them, I just said that into it. But um, Billy Boy, of course, um, I am always, as I said before, I mean, aiming to go higher and higher and higher. So I will continue to, to do some, 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 some more writings research and um as i said before i will i will see how much i can put out a better song than the one i put out before until you know it reach where it need to you know the hairs that you need to go i mean the four corners of the earth with goodness and what i didn't mention i'm hoping that my song and all the other song on album 22 will um you know give people comfort and peace so that they can, you know, regain back their 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 their, 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 their lives, and and just you know, and just start living again. So I also wish that for others. Thank you so much for your heart and for your desire to do good in this world and your willingness to follow through with that, Billy Boy. And I would love to know, I think it's really important to think about the influences that we've had in our life and, you know, who's really been there for us when, you know, we struggled to believe in ourselves the way so many people do when, you know, they have a dream that they want to pursue, such as music or writing or something that is off the beaten path that doesn't produce a paycheck right away. You know, anybody that is going to step into uncharted territory and actually be the way shower or the trailblazer, you know, you've got we've, we've got to go through terrain that, you know, has a lot of limbs and sticks and weeds and thorns and all kinds of you know, stuff in front of us. But when you're connected to people that have already been down similar paths, you can at least understand what knife actually cuts through the bush best. You know, you can have those conversations with people that have dared to bet on themselves. And I would love to really know who has really been that influence or guiding star for you who has really helped you stay strong and was a lighthouse figure in your life while you went through your own transformation to get to this point, Billy Boy? All right, great. Um, re, um, re this explanation, right? Um, there is no one person, as you would have known, but from I was small, um, I used to have my childhood friends and there is always a group of us who will always, you know, be moving around the neighborhood, playing and everything. But we will always see the mistakes that others make. We make mistakes too, but child mistake. But we see grown people. As a kid, we, we were able to see grown people who made some stupid mistakes. And we try to gather all those experiences and learn from them. I'm talking about some obvious stupid mistakes. You know, so I, we started as a group, say, we discuss and say, hey, what this shouldn't this this is not right i mean what what sh should he has done i watch what, what should she has done to you know to make things different so we are we have always been um like you know having our own speeches private speech together and that and um, and without being in that um I, I would say that surrounding of my friends and you're here by yourself as a human being i'm talking about as an individual right i still have those principles with me right now Right. I always I think a lot, you know, and I and I always try to research. I make mistakes, of course, but I, I try to learn from my mistakes and I listen to people. Not everything I'm gonna take from them, but I'll take what I want. Right. So it's a period of people that um in terms of interaction into my you know life go, I mean from back down then coming all the way up to now. 
I learn from each person that I that I actually meet along the way. All person that I've met and people that um you know I hope to meet along the way as well. So, so I learn from my surroundings. And um I am my personal motivator. Yes, I am I am actually made like that. I will do something different from everybody else because I believe in it. And it doesn't matter what bad things that are discouragement I may hear from other people. No, it wouldn't stop me from doing what I what I believe in. For example, I am a person. I I I, I mentioned earlier I am an art teacher, visual art teacher. So I was already a artist in terms of like a painter, a person who can draw very well, right? So I I always invent and create my own art, and I wear my fashions too. So. A lot of people may say it look unusual, but I didn't care because it was already a self-fulfillment, a self-fulfillment to be able to wear my creation. Or to, and that's just me, right? I'm not always right. Nobody is always right. But for the most part, I am right. So I encourage myself along the way. <laughs> that takes a tremendous amount of confidence. And yeah. so that came from somewhere. And I'm curious where it came from. Like, did you always have that ability to take a stand and do something different, even if others didn't like it? Or did you kind of grow into that? To be honest with you, it is just who I am. It's, there's no fixed point along the way I can say, hey, I get this from this. Just like your plant, your plant, like, let's say you plant a apple tree. No matter what you do, that, uh, that tree will always grow to be a hopper tree. So I think certain things you are born with the ability for uh, uh, with certain things. Yes, you will learn from your environment and adapt. But there are certain personalities that will definitely be a part of you. And it, it will not leave you no matter what. So it will grow along with you. As long as you keep nurturing, it will always remain the same. And the nurturing is all depends on what you use to nurture. If you use positive, positive, uh, positivity to nurture, then you will always remain that, that, that kind of a person. And, and, and that positive energy will be enough to, to erase all those negative energy that may come. Yes. So did you study in order to have the belief that you do? Or is that something that just kind of came to you as well? Or do you have more of a religious foundation? Where do you get your belief and your ability to stand so stoically for that which you believe in? All right. Um, yeah, growing up as a kid, um, of course, uh, there is a lot of cultural um, diversity surrounding um in my environment. And whether you believe it or not, at some point you may find that um, your environment may influence you in terms of like, um, what do you call the religion wise? And a lot of other things, even your very belief as we're as we speaking of. But even though, yes, it may have a little influence on your personality because your personality will always be a personality. It will change or may change over a period of time, but it will, it will always be, you will always be you. It's just that you will either evolve or you know, are, are, are some I would say some some drastic changes along the way sometimes mental with people. But um, I was brought up into a Christian home, and um, and uh, even the very type of music that I was able to listen, which was basically country. Even though I was born in Jamaica, country music was widely played in Jamaica, even more than reggae in some homes, because a, a Christian home. They will play, they will play um, a country song, but they will not play a reggae. I don't know why. The mystery right now, it's still, you know, but it didn't stop me from growing my love for reggae. All right. So then again, you're talking about influence the country, being exposed to the country music, and now I am mixing reggae with the country. You know, that would have started from that kind of influence, environmental influence, you know. So um, a lot of factors I encounter in terms of like, whether that be religious wise, um, in school as well, you know that you learn a lot of, learn of, a lot of different things that may have influence at some point, but the society, it will more likely to have a lot of different um, influence on you more than you think too. You know, so as I mentioned, I, I pick up a little from each step of the way, from a lot of different factors. And I try to draw 
or maybe I should say, happen to draw the positive ones. <laughs> Yeah, because they are negative as well. <laughs> yeah, they negative negative and what was actually flowing in the year too. But it is what you choose. It's all about what you choose. And yes, uh, I hope that answers your question to somewhat. <laughs> yeah. Well, I look forward to when we have a panel discussion about the power of choice. And when you'll be able to come in and share your perspective, because you've certainly been through a lot in your life to yeah. have left where you started to move countries as a minimum. I, from personal experience, I know that that takes a lot to leave where we start to restart somewhere else and have to completely rebuild. And every time we do that, you know, it takes another element of our own self to come forward in order to make it possible. So I would love for you to share the thing that you are most proud of, if you would, please. All right. Um, the things I'm most proud of um, is the very what we discussed a while ago in terms of like being here to keep a positive um, a mind and a positive head together in spite of all the things that um, were actually, um, you know, posed in front of me, right? So of course, um, that is one of the, 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 the main one that uh, I, I, I will mention. And um, being able to adapt here, it wasn't difficult, um, being that most of my family were already here, right? And um, it was, first and foremost, it was music too who brought me here. Because I see here as a as a as a broader scope for me to um, you know um, you know to vicar my music to where I wanted to go, mm -hmm. right? And having um, you know a loving family here to support me, mm -hmm. um, it wasn't difficult to adapt. Wasn't so <laughs> yeah. That's wonderful, and certainly you had it set up you set yourself up for success in that move. And so yeah. I can appreciate that it may not seem difficult, but having moved my life from Canada to England, you know, many years ago, it was a very different experience having moved from, even though we speak in the, the same language and are part of the monarch, it's like the culture, the traditions, the accents all of it is just slightly different and my accent revealed that I was an outsider which <laughs> wasn't a bad thing because Canadians are loved over all over the world for the most part right but at the same time I just asked that question because it's like sometimes even when you feel like something's an easy transition especially when you have a landing pad like a whole family and the unit set up that you just kind of fit into the nest and it's like oh great like we're here now that's awesome but like there is the element too that when you leave the nest you're interacting with different neighbors and different landscape and different customs and laws and different things and just different you know that's really what we're kind of in that world of it's just like what's different and what's the same or what's similar and we're constantly looking for similarities or differences so I think I have an idea as to where your mind would go but are you someone that more so focuses on the similarities that you have with your environment or the people that you're connecting with or are you someone more so that looks for what's different and how they're unlike you or you're unlike them or you know what's not working are wh where do you generally fit within that spectrum billy boy all right um that's a very good question very very good question all right um yes of course um how would i put it now um, because I used to visit on my vacations, right? And I have an have establishment up here before in terms of like friends and have a basic idea. And it wasn't just a one time. It was happening as a cycle. Each time I'll come on my vacation, right? And um, yes, so um, coming now to um, interacting with people and so on, a difference and, and everything. First and foremost, 
you have to understand that in everywhere you go, you will find people that are different. And put it this way, um, back where I'm from in Jamaica, of course, and here in the US comparing, right? Um, we pretty much have similar kind of a people. Um, you know, the multicultural system, um, the different type of people, and uh, um, good, bad, and indifference. And the culture is like pretty much the same because the same music you hear in here, you hear it um, in Jamaica, over there, all over the world, right? The landscape, of course. I know that uh, I, I, I am not ashamed to say that um, I got I got lost quite a few times. <laughs> yeah, I got lost quite a few times. And driving here was one of the major challenges. And um, I will tell you, it is my wife who taught me how to drive. Yes, I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> Yeah, my wife actually taught me to drive all the way over. Yet still, I left my country with a driver's license. But driving here is totally different. The, the, the system here is different. It is. Yeah. But if you know what you want, what's your purpose? Yeah. If you have a hard time getting along with people, you have to get along with people to reach where you want to go. Get to like something about it. It must have been something about a reason why you, 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 you relocate in the first place. So guess what? Not because you may see a bad face there, not so bad face there, or you know, different things happening around you. It doesn't mean that you're gonna say, hey, I'm going back home. No. You you have a purpose. Mm -hmm. And your purpose must be the most powerful thing in your mind, just like you have an aim in your life. All right. It doesn't matter what you meet up on along the way. That's where I'm going, and that's where I'm going. Yep. So if you have a strong push that hey if i have to fight my way i'm gonna fight my way right so it's all about um being focused on your goal people will always be different people will treat you bad even when you treat them nice and people will treat you good right so you know you have to understand that you have to find a way to monopolize or manipulate your environment and try to find a way to, you know, to 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 blend in. <laughs> you can blend in and still be different. Blend in and still be different, which is exactly what you are doing as one of the 22 songs on the album 22 Project, Billy Boy. So it has been such a pleasure to connect with you today and very much look forward to people being able to get to know you at a deeper level, your music as well. So definitely do go and check out Billy Boy's music and his website so that you can stay abreast as to what he's doing and definitely stay tuned to album 22 and all that is coming. July 22nd is not far now. It's not far at all. I'll be sitting up the night before. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. So exciting. I am thank you for fitting in this this interview. Uh, with everything Not everyone going on is gonna care. Yes, uh, thank you for Are having me too. People been fighting for survival. Out there, this is a war. We'll never end. Out there. People fighting for diamond, rushing for gold. People losing their souls. If you just believe in me, then just your smile for a while can help me change this world. Change this world. Sometimes your best friends no longer want to be your friends. Sometimes I feel as if the world is against you. Sometimes your families all turn their backs on you. Force you to face life on your own affair. People fighting for diamonds. 
rushing for gold. People losing their soul. If you just believe, then may then just your smile for a while can help me change this world. Sometimes all we need don't need an angel, just someone believes in you. Cause all that we need sometimes, someone to have faith in you. People fighting for. For a while, can help me change this world. Sometimes all we need, we need don't need an angel, just someone to believe in you. Someone to do the best you can when the world thinks you can. Sometimes all we need is just a sin. Smile, you can change this